Hey. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, it is about 5.15, and it is Friday, and I am super excited about next week. I just am ready to get the school year started, get the kids in, and get us all into a routine and get things moving forward. I hope that things have been going well for you, especially those of you who have attended the fair. I would like to take some time to walk you through our staff resource binder, a few updates that I don't want to waste your time with um, on our September 5th meeting day because there seems to be a lot that's getting crammed into that day. Um, so let's take some time. I'm going to go through the resource binder. You should have that in front of you. You can kind of flip through it. Please make sure you use this as a resource because it is a resource binder and it's one of those things that is available Oftentimes, if you have a question, sometimes the answer can be found right in here, and maybe not. That's okay, too, but um, you can see we've updated the cover, and it now says Growing Great Leaders to move forward with our Leader in Me initiative. So everyone will have this, and you'll have a um, zipper pouch that you can put your Golden Knight tickets in if you want to have a place to keep them. Um, as you pass them out, you probably already have a... A system for doing that but that is there just in case or for whatever else you want to have the first page is a new fountains and Pinnell independent level expectation page before we had given you both the instructional level and the independent level let's just make sure that we're focused on this right here which is the independent levels please make sure that you're using the parameters that are suggested through the fountains and Pinnell only those parameters. Please don't make up your own for your grade level, so color code them according to what um, is being suggested. Uh, this is not new, but for those of you who are new to us, this is um, an example of the processes of reading and teaching kids thinking within the text, about the text, and beyond the text. Um, so that's kind of a nice resource, along with on the opposite page is a um, depth of knowledge wheel there with some Bloom's taxonomy, some goody stuff like that. Here's a, um, a reading level conversion chart. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the next section is the handbook section, our staff handbook. I have updated this to reflect, you know, things like new lunch prices, these um, contracted staff work day, um, office phone number, staff dining. I'm not gonna read all of this stuff to you. You are an adult, so you're responsible to be aware of anything that is inside of the staff handbook. You'll find um, this year, I've added uh, the universal design for learning because that is something that we are exploring as a district. So again, that's just a resource. And um, Hattie's top 10 um, of the most successful strategies as we continue to work around that research base. Um, for uh, those of you who have been here, you've heard me talk about this instructional framework. It has kind of been the foundation for everything that we've done in the last uh, five years. So we've taken um, our belief statement here that we had a agreed upon way back, which is we believe that all students are valuable and will be successful when we create an environment to engage and support them. At last check, that was still valid. Um, we can review that as a staff with our Lighthouse team this year. So if someone has a suggestion or wants to um, put some input in on that, they'll have the chance to do so. Functioning under the essential elements, we need to have a positive culture for both our staff and our students. We need to be utilizing effective instructional practices, engaging our students, our staff, and thinking of ways that we're engaging our community. And then, of course, a multi-tiered system of support. Before this current coming year, we have functioned under these four committees, and they've been, I would say, a little gray and maybe not all that effective. So what we have done is the Lighthouse team essentially kind of came to consensus and decided that it might be best to move forward with um, keeping these ideas and beliefs in these pillars and in this instructional framework, but going ahead and expanding into the model and the framework that Franklin Covey has set forth with the leader and me. So that's actually what we're gonna be talking a lot about on September 5th when we get together, is the leader and me and that committee framework um, that folks will have a chance to sign up for so that everyone can be involved. So look for that. Um, we're going to go back. Last year, I kind of abandoned the whole teacher-based team form requirement. I'm going to go back to that TBT form. 
So I'll be working to generate that and making sure that you're using that as a professional talking point so that we can we can get back to that. I know it's not the, the most popular thing to have to fill out a paper and turn it in and all that stuff, but um, I feel like it gives an opportunity to have a little bit more connection between what's happening in the teacher base teams, and so I can see some continuity across all grade levels. So um, that's going to be coming out, and when it does, I'll refer you to this teacher base team um, requirement. We won't start with formal requirements for teacher base teams in those meetings until October. There's way too much going on in September when it comes to having to assess our kids and getting to know them and having our classes set up. So. Uh, that's going to be on hold until September. Of course, here's the information regarding the grading system, which is probably very helpful to those of us who've been here and to anyone who is new. Uh, it also details out the specific academic awards and all that stuff. Here's some extra guidelines on standards-based report cards. Um, if you have any question regarding standards-based grading, please come and see me. There's a sample rubric um, regarding homework, uh, effort rubric. Here's a grading criteria sample. So as your grade levels are talking about what our expectations are, noting how those expectations change across grade levels, uh, across the quarters. With the new Public School Works website, that will allow us to keep all, track of all those little requirements, that kind of stuff. Accident reports for students can also be filed in there. Um, I don't have specific directions on that yet, but there is some information here. Just remember that we want to make sure we're reporting those things. I cannot stress enough. Do not call a parent from your classroom and have them come pick the student up if you know let the office handle that there have been several times over the last couple of years where parents have called in or have come in to say that they're here to pick up a certain child and we didn't even know they were sick so there's a process there we need to make sure that happens so please don't um, make that determination on your own uh, let the office handle that that way we're the ones that are getting yelled at and not you um, okay, making referrals to children's services is extremely important. Even if you suspect the teensy weensiest tiniest thing, um, make sure that you make that referral to children's services and just touch base with myself or Mrs. Cresswell. Let us know. She and I are actually going to collaborate to kind of keep a running record so that we can track that in just um, on an internet form, a little bit of a different way, or a Google form so that we can check to see who's being referred and how often rather than doing a paper filing system. It, um, we have master schedule in here. So my understanding is that Mr. Irvin has um, passed out the rotations for fifth and sixth grade. If that um, hasn't gotten to you, please see him. The next tab is a class data tab. We have new data forms this year, hopefully to try to make things a little simpler, always hearing what people have to say and revamping just a little bit. Make sure you use these forms. Not sure where some of the old forms are coming from, but we give you the new forms in the resource binder. We've gone through all these, thrown all the old stuff out. So if you have something old, it's not because we gave it to you this year. We need you using this one when you turn that stuff in. This information has sometimes come to me and sometimes gone to Mrs. Webb. This year, it will all come to me. So please make sure that you get that in my mailbox in a timely manner as you finish your testing. Okay, next one, Golden Knight tickets. Um, teachers, you will only give Golden Knight tickets. Forget about the Golden Knight dollar. Forget about um, having kids turn in 10 tickets for a dollar and hearing the feedback. It's just a whole lot of too much. So we're going to go exclusively to tickets. Um, there's no Golden Knight store this year. And you might wonder, well, what are kids gonna spend their tickets on? And we're going to work through that, but here are some things right out of the gates that kids are going to be able to spend their tickets on. Um, more like experiences. So they're going to be able to, um, I'll give you an example of at the end of each quarter, when the kids have the academic award to watch a movie, uh, kids can use their tickets to buy concession. 
or we can buy an opportunity to sit at a restaurant style table in the cafeteria to eat lunch or an opportunity to eat lunch someplace else renting the chairs um, renting some playground equipment so as we roll that out to kids we're going to roll it out to staff kind of simultaneously i invite any and all ideas we have some um, teachers who've wanted to donate a couple of bigger items that could perhaps be raffled on. And we really wanna focus kids into using their tickets and perhaps synergizing to work together to come up with um, something that they wanna to have together so that maybe they can hold each other accountable for showing their night pride and using the Northmore Four. Um, with that, there is the um, PBIS handbook that's right behind that tab that will detail out for you. And we've changed the matrix which is why um, y'all have some new posters and it reflects the language of the leader and me and um, our Northmore Four kind of combined. So please familiarize yourself with that. It's not that much different. It's just um, down, the, down the side instead of we have be proactive, begins with the end in mind. Put first things first, think win-win, speak first to understand and to be understood, synergize and sharpen this all for all of these um, all of these environments. Please make sure you check that out before you move into your formal teaching when you're teaching all of your kids about those classroom environments. Um, here is the flow chart for office referrals. Behavioral errors. This is a new um, resource we were able to obtain at a PBIS um, coaches meeting and thought that this was really helpful. These are strategies to modify behavioral errors and um, they're kind of all research-based there. So when you're putting something in to the Google form, you might reference some of these things, which are all things that you are already, for the most part, doing, but it's kind of a nice um, resource there. Um, talked a little bit about the acknowledgement system. Again, um, think about your class menu and how kids can use their tickets in a class menu format. We do have a tier two system of supports where kids um, are able to be, you know, nominated for that. There's a paper copy of the nomination or of the tier two intervention plan, what that looks like on the back side of your ticket, your PBIS tab. So your tickets are here and then right behind it is a tier two intervention plan so you can see what that looks like and perhaps this um, would be a nice resource for you to take a look at some of those strategies to modify the behavioral errors that kids are exhibiting. The next tab goes into Fountas and Pinnell. Um, just a couple of little extra helpful things for when you're doing the F&P and um, assessing some tips to help you out with that. Of course, we have the Intervention Assistance Team request form here. Um, you guys have been so good at collecting data and really making that meaningful that our Intervention Assistance Team process is running a lot smoother. Now, yet again, we get to work with a new school psychologist. So we will be working to make sure that everything we're doing on, the, on our end matches what she uh, expects so that when it's time to qualify a student, we're able to move forward on that. Um, and then the last section is um, some samples, some ideas regarding intervention. So kindergarten, first and second grade has interventions um, regarding mostly um, like focus for pre-K to two. Third grade, we've given you both the interventions for reading and pre-K to um, two, three, and then we also have provided you with the four, five, and six um, intervention piece because at that point you can kind of utilize some of those things perhaps even for some enrichment tools and then four, five, and six you have these. So you, you know where these resources are. Please make sure you use them and then of course there's um, a flip chart for response intervention strategies. If you have an idea for something that would be helpful in a staff resource finder or you need something clarified, please just come and talk to me and I will work through that with you. Chances are if you have a question about it, somebody else does too. And, um, or I've forgotten, so that might be the case as well. You will have all received your data crates. That's these things behind me here. Doo -doo. 
And um, with the exception of kindergarten, you have a folder for each student in your class. Their data card that gives you a quick glance at how the student has progressed across previous uh, grades. And hopefully that helps you and keeps you from having to go down to the office and pull out those CUME files and, and piece all that information together that it's right here for you. There's also some student work samples um, sometimes and writing samples um, that that are in there. So um, hopefully some helpful information to help you get to know your students as um, in their academic work. Okay, I think that's everything for this segment. So um, Again, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I hope you have a wonderful day, night, morning, whatever it is when you're watching this, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.